Chuck, we're back. Oh, yes, we are, my friend. Yeah, so we're going to, I, I just thought so at some point I had to lay down some track here on the Equinox. Oh, I love that gym. <laughs> I used to work out there all the time. It was great. There's one on the Upper West Side. And that was 20 pounds ago, apparently. Is that right? <laughs> oh, you're talking about my Corona baby now. The Corona baby coming along. <laughs> oh, I, I, by the way, as you showed your belly, I saw your, 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 your hoodie. You oh. got like comp company issue Star Talk merch there. Yo, this is so hot, man. It's like it's very like design. It's like this. First it's like the it's a space shuttle sort of or, or some rocket in the middle, blasting off. It's an interesting design. It is a great design. I love it. It's one of my favorite hoodies. Everywhere I wear it, people say, "Yo, where can I get one?" And I'm like, oh. "Listen, listen to the show and find." <laughs> <laughs> Fine. What do I look like? I look like your personal shopper. <laughs> your personal. Listen to the show, and you will find out where you can get one of these. Because uh, I don't, I don't even have one yet. I, I guess I'd be wearing. Nobody send me one. But I guess Nobody, we, we, we yeah. got you one. I, I guess the the boss gets it last. I guess I don't know. Yeah, man, it's like going down with the captain's got to go down with the ship. The captain's got to get the merch last. <laughs> <laughs> you got this whole philosophy figured out. Hey, yeah, hey, I just made it up and it worked. So hey. Okay, so I think I think we're gonna put a link down uh, in the description. Yeah, I'm gonna check out that and and other merch. So let's get right, let's get right to the equinox. The equinox. The equinox. So the equinox. Wait. So and, and again. I Wait, just got to go the, there. What are the two? There's vernal? Vernal equinox, which is and, a spring equinox, spring, and autumnal. And the, and the autumnal, which is the, 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 the fall. Okay. The fall, yes. Autumn, right. fall. And, of course, they reversed northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. But they happen at the same instant all around the world. So the March equinox, uh, depends on which year in the cycling of the leap year we are, can happen on March 20th, March 21st. Uh, even March 22nd, um, and September. So it's a March equinox and a September equinox. And I just want to explain what that is because I don't think everyone fully grasps it. So are you All ready right. for this? I'm okay. ready. <laughs> so uh, equinox is from the Latin for equal night. Okay? Nice. Equal night. All right. So it means the nighttime hours of night equals the daytime hours of daylight. Oh, okay. Really? So, so it's a 24-hour day. 12 and 12. 12 and 12. There you have it. That's a all nice right? day. It's a nice day. It's that's, certain, that's, that's kind of a nice day. You know what I mean? 12 hours. It's all, it's broken up perfectly even. Right. <laughs> and and there, there's some history of this. It's faded, I think, thankfully, in recent years. There was a point where people said, oh, if everything is balanced, that means I can balance an egg on its ends. And you had all these photos. The press would go out and they'd see these egg balancing um, uh, demonstrations all taking place on the equinox. And no one thought to give egg balancing demonstrations on every other day of the year because you could just as easily do it. Uh, your ability to balance eggs has nothing to do with whether there's equal day or equal night That's in funny. the universe. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I think people have, there's been some improvement in science literacy over the years, so you don't see the press chasing these things down. Uh, there are other things to celebrate about the equinox. So here's the point I'm making. Uh, that comes about because every other day of the year, day does not equal night. Every other day of the year, they're out of balance. So what's happening at the equinox is that's the day where you, after which you start getting more of one or the other than the other. That's right. right. Okay. Gotcha. So for us in the spring, we start getting more daylight than nighttime, whereas leading up to that day, we had more nighttime than day. Right. All right. Okay. So that's where we're, we're coming out of winter there. All right. And, but it's changing. It's changing slowly. This continues until June 21st. And then you have maximum daylight relative to darkness. And in New York City, the last I checked, we get about 16 hours of daylight on June 21st. And that's the solstice. We'll do another explainer on the solstice uh, at another time. So 16 hours of daylight, eight hours of darkness. We're, we're doing pretty good right there. Yeah. If you like, you know, here comes the sun. Yeah, I was going right? to say, if you like sleeping during daylight. <laughs> okay, sorry. <Yeah. laughs> All right. So here's an interesting fact. Well, I think it's interesting. If you go to the sunrise and sunset tables 
on the equinox and then do the arithmetic on it, there's more daylight than nighttime. Okay, well, now we are uh, screwing up our whole harmonious uh, proposition here okay. that we have supposedly <laughs> equal night. Okay. All right, All right, right. So, so it, it turns out, no, it's no, not we, the case. We do not. And the reasons for that. Equinox, you're such a liar. God. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just that, you know, most things that we think are simple truths are, you have to arrive at them after a much more complex understanding of what's going on. But we like things being simple, and that can be dangerous at times, because you can make decisions that affect your life or the life of others without understanding the nuances of what's happening. Tell my wife about it. <laughs> no. All right. So, How do you so think here's I what, got married? <laughs> so here's the thing. It is 12 hours of day and night. If Earth had no atmosphere, and we judged sunrise at the point of the middle of the sun coming over the horizon and the middle of the sun dipping below the horizon on the other side of the sky. But that's not how we, in practice, define sunrise and sunset. So here's how it goes. You ready? Wait, 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 so, wait, because I gotta, get, I gotta get this in my head right. No, 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 no I'll come at it another angle. Don't worry about it. Here you okay, go. Ready? Right. You watch the sunrise. Right. Okay. And you got the, the Lion King music. There it is. Okay. So there it is. Do you realize at the instant you see the sun above the horizon? Okay. Okay. It has, it will not rise yet for another five minutes. So the it is the refraction the of Earth's atmosphere that takes the fully set sun and brings it up above your horizon for you to see. Like a stick bent in the water. Correct. Or straw, does anyone still use straws? Yeah. Bent in your, in your, in your glass in of your soda. Drink. In, in your soft drink. So, so it bends the sunlight up and over the horizon. So when the entire sun is above the horizon, that's about when the actual sun is about to come over a horizon if there was no atmosphere there. So already, Refraction threw in an extra five minutes of sunlight. Gotcha. Already. Wow. That happens. So you're confounding this precise definition we have of sunrise and sunset simply because we have this atmosphere. And when the sun is setting, it's set five minutes before you see the thing set. So there's a whole extra like 10 minutes, depending on where you are in the world, it could, because the time it takes the sun to cross the horizon is different depending on, on your latitude on Earth. So it can vary, but around the, the latitudes of the United States, it's five minutes there, five. So it's already an extra 10 minutes. In addition, the definition of the spot that we uh, 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 localize for the sun's rise, okay, so here it is. The, so the sun is coming up, and this that top edge. So sunset ought to, sunset ought to be when that spot goes below the horizon, shouldn't it? Right, yeah. Right, because you want to be consistent, but that's not how we do it. That spot, which is at the top of the sun, goes across the sky, now becomes the bottom of the sun. Okay, and then we define sunset as when the other side of the sun goes below the horizon. Right. So we're not even defining the placement of the sun on the horizon consistently between sunrise and sunset. What this does is add extra minutes of daylight to the equinox. So if you really wanted to find the actual day where the actual minutes of darkness equals minutes of light, that happens before the equinox in, in, the, in, in March and after the equinox in the, you have to wait until the, the, the darkness builds up to compensate for that. And you gotta go back and find that date. So if you're one of these weather weenies who always sees the sunset tables and you wondered about this right. that's why wow so now it's you know next time you're having romantic morning and you're like isn't that a beautiful sunrise it will be in five minutes <laughs> yeah just destroy the mood yeah. just <laughs> See, you, you, you don't, don't want to become one of those well actually people <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you don't understand is what you are looking at right now is an optical <laughs> illusion caused by the atmosphere that has Fold you. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, and, the, and yeah, and yeah. Like, well, come back, come back. <laughs> hey, baby, <laughs> baby, where you go? <laughs> <laughs> So anyhow, so and and also uh, what I didn't say, which is the blunt obvious thing here you can get on a wiki page, is Earth's axis is tilted, um, and as we go around the sun, it keeps that same orientation in space. So sometimes we're tilted away from the sun. On the northern hemisphere, that's winter for us, and sometimes we're pointed towards the sun, and that would be summer. It's the two sides where we're pointing horizontal to the sun. That's those instants when that happens, those are the two equinoxes in the world. And on that day, everybody in the world gets the 12 hours a day, 12 hours of night. Um, and after that, it switches back and forth. So, oh, by the way, that means everyone on the equator only ever gets 12 hours a day, 12 hours of night. They don't get long summers, long winters, uh, nights, uh, because everything is pivot, is crossing through the equator. As one gets longer, the other gets shorter, and it's got to go through the equator to make that happen. So... The equator has the least interesting changes in the sunrise and sunsets in the world. There you go. Had to get that out there, Chuck. Well, I'm glad you did. I will never look at a sunrise or a sunset the same way again. <laughs> okay. No matter and, what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> and the equinox, it's a fun day, and I usually tweet about it mildly, but, you know, keeping it going. All Just right. trying to make sure we keep people looking up. See what I did there. I see what you did. All right, Chuck, we out. Okay. <laughs>